Now after installing Postgres, we have to see how we can add full text search to our blog. For this, we'll be going for simple search lookups, searching against multiple fields and then we will build a search view. And at last, we'll be getting a search engine for full text search. Let's see how. So for that, we will go to PyCharm. And for installing Postgres, you need to go for pip install scikit g2 binary and its version. I forgot to put that in video as my scikit g2 module was already installed. But if you are not able to install, first install scikit g2 with the help of pip. Now for simple search lookup, we have to go for its module. So what I'll do in settings.py inside installed apps, I'll write zango.contrib.postgres. Now you can search against a single field using the search query set lookup. Using post.object.filter and here by just simply giving body underscore search equal to the term which we want to search over here. For example, I can give Zango. This query uses PostgreSQL to create a search vector for the body field and a search query from the term Zango. Now for searching against multiple fields, we need to build a vector which will be search vector imported from zango.contrib.postgres and instead of post.objects.filter we will define for search vector post.objects.annotate and here we'll be using the term search which will have search vector and here we will have title and body and then we will have filter body underscore search zango here we have used annotate and search vector with both field as we are providing a functionality to match the query against both title and body of our post now we'll be creating a custom view to allow our users to search post so for that we will need a search form so here i'll go to blog forms.py and inside forms.py i'll define a class search form which will be inheriting from forms.form and here we'll define query equal to forms.care field. Here we'll be using the query field to let user to introduce search term. Then we will go to views.py and here I'll import search factor from sango.contrib.postgres dot search import search vector and here I'll be defining a function df post underscore search which will be having argument as request form will have search form query is equal to none results will be empty list and then we will know if query in request.get form equal to search form here I need to define search form above on fifth line besides comment form I'll give search form also now form equal to search form request dot get then I'll give if form dot is valid query is equal to form dot cleaned data 
here we will give query results equal to post dot published dot annotate and here we will give search equal to search vector and here I'll give title and body and here we will have filter search equal to query and at last we will return render request block post search dot html we will make right after this and here we will have form query and results so basically we made use of search form to check whether the form is submitted we need to look for the query parameter in the request dot get here we will send the form using get method we haven't used post methods so that resulting url includes query parameter and it will be easy to share when the form is submitted we will instantiate it with the submitted get data and verify that the form data is valid if form is valid we will search for published post with a custom search vector built with title and body so the search view is ready by now now we need to create a template with the name search.html so that we can display the form and results when the user performs a search so for this i'll go to blog inside blog templates blog post inside post i'll click on new html file and here i'll name it search now we need to add some lines over here so as to display search engine so first of all i'll extend base.html then i will load block tags and thereafter we will define blocks for title and content so first of all let's define block title at the same time i'll define end block and here i'll write search then i'll define block content inside content i'll define if query here i'll define in h1 tag post containing the query whatever query will have here and then in h3 tag i'll define with results dot count as total underscore results found total underscore results then result total underscore results and here pluralize and thereafter i'll close this i'll close end with then i'll apply for loop for post in results and then in h4 tag i'll apply href link where i will have post dot get absolute url and then we will have post dot title after that we will have post dot body markdown truncate words html up to five then i'll define empty if it is empty it will print there are no results for your query and here our for loop will end by and for 
and outside this end for will have p tag where there will be a link url blog post underscore search and here i'll close this and here it will print search again and we will have an else condition in else it will print in h1 tag search for post it will have method equal to get form dot s underscore p input type equal to submit button for which value will be search and thereafter we will and if and will call and block above so here in the search view we have distinguished whether the form has been submitted by the presence of the query parameter before the query is submitted we will display the form a submit button after the post is submitted we will display the query performed the total number of results and the list of post returned now after this we will go to urls.py for blogs and here i'll define one more path search which will be searching for views dot post underscore search and the name will be post underscore search now after this we have already made views return should be before parallel to if then if we check forms this post underscore search is in search dot html here it should be blog underscore tags so after this we will save it and we will go to browser and we'll check whether it is working or not here in the new database i have feed it two to three articles for python concept sites good for learning java which framework is best for web development zango or node.js why and when i click here there is a complete blog over here so let's see the search window so for that i need to go for blog forward slash search and here you can see a new window with search option over here here we can enter a query and then we will click on search button and you will be seeing the result of the search queries let's see which sites are best for learning here I'll type which sites are best for learning java and we'll click on search here it is saying there is no post with this name of article let's verify here sites good for learning java so i'll copy from here so that i can remember and here i'll be looking for sites good for learning java and we'll click on search button it will find out your article from your blog and also it is giving the option of search again so congratulations you have created a basic search engine for our blog now we'll be stemming and ranking the results stemming is the process of reducing words to their word stem or we can say root form so stemming is used by search engine to reduce indexed words to their stem and to be able to match derived words for example if you have music and musician can be considered similar words by search engine so zango provides a search query class to translate terms into search query object let's see how we can do this so for this i'll go to views 
and here I'll define search query and search rank. So coming down here we can see we have defined results is equal to post dot publish dot annotate. Instead of this here I'll write search underscore vector which will be equal to search vector with title and body. At the same time I'll have search query which will search query and then I'll define results which will be equal to post dot publish dot annotate having search equal to search vector rank equal to search rank and here we will have search vector search query and here I'll apply filter with search equal to search query and here we will order by rank with negative order so that we can have in decrementing order. So basically here we have made a search query object filter which will be filtering by search rank. Now let's see how it is working. For this I'll go to browser, I'll refresh it and here I'll type python. See with just single word python it has returned all python related articles wherever python word has been used python concept which framework is best for web development zango node.js here also we had used python term so it has returned all the articles which has python so this was all about full text search engine from postgresql if you want to use other search engine like solar elastic search you can integrate them into your zango project using haystack well haystack is a zango application that works as an abstraction layer for multiple search engine it also offers a simple search api which is very similar to zango query set so this is it now in the next video i'll be coming up with the login page so that we will have a credential to login into our blog site.